Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good morning, friends. This is Mr. Jericho. I am so excited for this Kids Church Online. Um, we'll be singing two songs here, and then we are going to hear a story from you guys, from our friends, and then we get to do our craft. So make sure that you take out your craft bags that you guys got during our donut and craft pickup and during the first Sunday this month. Don't forget our donut and craft pickup um, the first Sunday in March.
Once there was a king who had almost everything, but still he wasn't happy, for he didn't have a queen. The wise men suggested that he issue this command, let a search be made in every corner of the land. Now Esther was an orphan who lived with Mordecai. The king's men saw her as they were riding by. They took her to the palace and brought her to the king. The king was very pleased with her and chose her as his queen. Mordecai would often sit beside the palace gates. He saw a man named Haman who was riding proud and straight. When Haman looked at Mordecai, his heart filled with hate, for Mordecai would never bow as Haman passed the palace gates. Haman was so angry that he wanted to go get permission to hurt God's special people and the Jewish population. The rule went out across the land to people everyone. Mordecai heard of it. It filled him with despair. He told Queen Esther, you must go and kneel before the king. Perhaps you can persuade him to stop this awful thing. So Esther fixed a banquet as soon as she was able. She asked the king and Haman to join her at the table. The king was very happy with her, the dinner she had made. Please tell me what you want. Esther cried, Please spare my life and save my people too. This wicked man has made a plan to hurt every Jew. The king jumped up and hollered, Haman, is this true? Away with you, and Mordecai will rule instead of you. The people made a holiday to celebrate their way. That's the Esther saved their people right. And I am for Hi boys and girls, welcome to Craft Time. Today I have Audrey Hi. and Autumn Hi. helping me today with the craft. You are going to be using the bag that you picked up at the Donut and Craft Supply pickup or that you got at church a few weeks ago. If you didn't get these, don't worry. You have stuff around your house that I'm sure you can use to put it together. So now we're gonna start with our craft. We're gonna open up our bags and get out our supplies. Now you can put your bags aside. It has the rest of the goodies in from those later if you haven't already. Okay, so girls, we have been talking in the month of February, we have been talking about God's love for us. And we have a special Bible verse that we have been doing. Do you think you could help me with it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so the Bible verse is Jeremiah 31, three. So let's start it, ready? Jeremiah 31, three. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Can we do it one more time? You ready? Jeremiah 31, 3. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Good. Girls, God does love us with an everlasting love. And because God loves us, we are able to show love to everybody else. Really? Yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to make a love mobile. And we are going to talk about all of the people in our lives that we love. So I want you to start thinking, hmm, who do I love? And when we do this craft, we're going to need a few more items. So I brought them right here. We need some markers. markers. We might need some crayons. And tape. I got my tape right here. So these are the things that we are going to need. You could also use a glue stick if you don't have tape. And you could use colored pencils as well if you don't have markers or crayons. So here's what we're going to do. First off, we're going to take that big heart and we're going to write our Bible verse on it. Okay, so I'm going to do mine first and then you two can copy me, okay?
So here is mine, and now the girls are going to do theirs. Audrey is in first grade, so she's just going to copy me. Autumn is still in preschool, so I'm actually going to write hers for her. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we'll get back to you. is our Bible verse for this month, and now we're going to turn it into our love mobile. So next, girls, what I want you to do is you are going to take all of your hearts, okay, and Audrey, I want you to write the names of all the people that you love on your heart. So I, a different heart for each I person. I have all of them. Okay, great. So like I would write Autumn on one, and I would write Audrey on another, and Ben on another one. So each person gets their own heart. Now, Autumn? I need a fourth letter. <laughs> yes. Autumn, since you aren't no, don't know how to write yet, I want you to actually draw the pictures of who you love. You could draw a picture of your dog, Howie, or Grammy. Do you want to use a marker or crayons? Now, if you are older, if you are in third through fifth grade, what I'd like you to do is after you're done writing your names, on the back of each heart, write something that you love about that person. Um, I love Audrey because she is so kind. Or I love Autumn because she is so silly. Uh, whatever you love about that person, write it on the back. Challenge yourself a little bit. Autumn is still working on hers, so we're going to wait for Autumn to be done, okay? Okay, so now, boys and girls, we have all of our hearts done. Um, Audrey wrote hers, I wrote mine, and Autumn drew her pictures. Yeah. So now we are going to take our strings. We're going to flip over our big heart. Here, can okay. you put the cap on yeah, flip over our big heart. Flip over your big heart. And we are going to take three of those strings our big heart but we're only going to take them a little bit because we want the string to hang down because we're going to attach the other hearts to it oh your tape went over that yeah, it's okay we have a lot of hard times with and so does Audrey, but Autumn only has uh, six. So I'm going to put three on my middle one and two on the outsides so that it matches. And then Autumn's gonna put two on each one. So now what you're gonna do, girls, is you're going to place your heart yeah. on one of the strings and just put a little piece of tape on the back. Yeah, so it's, it's easier if you flip it over because then, because then you can flip over your little heart so the so you don't mix up the words and you get the words on the back. Yeah. You want it to be the Bible verse. Mommy, I I have an extra heart on the bottom, so the needs to take place.
don't have to do that. Different ways to do it. Thank you so much for joining us for craft time. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.